All right, <clears throat> today is Tuesday, the 11th of February, I think. So the car's got to go to its wheel alignment and get the aircon regas tomorrow. So it has to be driving today. <clears throat> got a new master cylinder as the one that I had had a sticky piston in it. And then I hit it with some compressed air to pop the piston out. I caught the piston, I caught the seal both in a rag, but the spring hit my workbench, ricocheted off a car and disappeared into the grass. So that was no good. <clears throat> Thankfully, a buddy that I'd been buying parts off for my Stagia tie had this BM50 sitting around because Stagia's run a BM50. Although it didn't have BM50 written on it, it's the same part, <clears throat> just different manufacturer. So I was able to grab that off him, bolt it in. It was already full of fluid. It works great. All the lines are bled up. All the brakes are bled up, they all work, <clears throat> so that's awesome. Uh, this side is 100% done, so I can put a wheel on it and put it back on the ground. The other side, however, has a bit of a problem. So if I spin this wheel, you can hear that it gets kind of stuck there. So I think that, <clears throat> well anyway, it's jammed with the brake caliper on the rim. Now, <clears throat> this wheel is from that side, and it spins perfectly fine on that side. So I thought that wheel was out of round, which is the one that's supposed to be on here. Anyway, basically this wheel's perfect and it still drags. So I think there's a problem with the wheel bearing and I've had a bit of a look and it does have some wobble in it. So the wheel bearing's probably bad. Either that or I haven't put it back together properly. So I was doing this late last night. It was getting kind of loud because the neighbor's house was right there. So I'm going to rip this apart, double check that wheel bearing, make sure it's all good. If it's not, I'll replace it. If it is, back to the drawing board to figure out what the fuck's going on. Just pressed out the old bearing, it's down there. So you just remove the circlip, get a socket from the other side, just press. Now, throw the new one in, just put it in, press down. Super simple stuff. So when you go to install the new one, just make sure the rubber side goes to the inner bit where the nut and the cap go, then it'll be sealed from dust. And this outer bit can go towards the knuckle because that is obviously very sealed with all the metal around there. I'm press in so I don't damage that surface at all. These are a perfect fit obviously, so I'm just going to go down to that level, pull it out, and then swap it out for a big old socket. Alright, so the other side was dragging a little bit, and I just skimmed off that amount in those areas on the other side. This side just touched, so I figured I'll just nip it off. It's only just like one or two passes of the flap disc, nothing serious be less than a millimeter in it but just to be safe so I'm not stuck on the side of the road doing it for whatever dumb reason just cleaned it up so pretty much the front end's done throw the wheels on just needs a wheel alignment after that all right so I took it for a lap around the block you can see we didn't quite clearance it enough it's pretty bad chewing up the tire pretty good too I think it might be getting caught something in here maybe anyway um, it's because this side's got heaps more caster or heaps less caster, I don't know. There's like a thousand shims in here, so I'm just gonna pull a few of these out. Hopefully that will pull this whole assembly forward because the other side doesn't have this problem. So I can pull it all forward and it should ride just fine. Looks like it's hitting that too. There's not much I can really do about that. Just trying to go full lock. And uh, yeah, check out those cracks. These are gonna perform awesome. All right, so I'm down here at Fulcrum Suspensions, getting a wheel liner done. My boy Brandon's hooking me up. And uh, he reckons it's not too bad, all things considered. So uh, give it an alignment and see how it goes. After this, got to fix the brake drag issue. All right, boys at Fulcrum Suspension got it dialed in. Drives great now. Definitely need some adjustable caster rods, but it'll be fine for now. The rear end was actually spot on. I'm quite surprised that my dodgy driveway alignment got the rear pretty good. I'm happy with it. And uh, yeah, she drives great. And I think the gearbox is uh, bumping the floor a little bit. So maybe chase down a new gearbox mount, but other than that, ready to rip. So as you can see, the end result looks great. The uh, brakes fit under the TIs and under the stock guard somehow. Uh, the car drove well, the brakes worked amazingly, and I was pretty happy with the fitment. Uh, all in all, I don't recommend anyone does this. I think you should get proper wheels and good condition new brakes, not this secondhand crap that I run. But that's what we do here at Fury Garage. We just uh, grab what we can find and make it work.